Hey everyone, today on this occasion of Teacher's Day, I'm wishing all the teachers out there a very happy Teacher's Day. Big or small, whatever have I done for you, I bow down to you with my folded hands. For whatever I have learned today and what I'm here for, it's all because of you. On this occasion, I have a very special guest to guest with us, Dr. Ms. Bhagashekar sir, principal of HKBK College of Engineering. Welcome you sir. So, uh, keeping aside the medical community or the doctors and healthcare workers, the next most affected community were the students and the teachers. Either was it in terms of teaching or to pursue their education or even was it to convince certain concepts. It was all difficult to do it online, but our teachers have done a great job. So, with this, without wasting much of Sir's time, we will directly move on to the question, Sir. So, Sir, the first question, how do you feel satisfied in this question? Whenever my students get the success, and that success is recognized by the student and the society, I feel that I, we have sacrificed and we are able to certainly do the best for the student and the student and the society. That is what I feel the sacrifice by the other Yes, sir. The next question Did your studies or present generation influence your teaching? Definitely. But the present generation has got a lot of exposures and they have got a lot of ways to attain a particular requirement. Hence, we have to change our studies on the level of teaching and learning mechanism also. And we should be very closer to the minds of the achievers. What is the best way for them to learn? We should go in such manner and we should see that we have to support them to learn on their own in their own way. That is what I feel would be the better way to teach in these days. Yes. The next question, how do students influence or contribute to your life? So that's what I said. For example, when my research publications were there, it is not that only that I did any research publication. Along with my students, I'm able to show them an avenue and a method. But the efforts is to so that students, when they come out with a successful paper, and it is uh, recognized by many other researchers, definitely I feel that it has been recognized and uh, the contributions has been done by any, every one of us. So I feel that teachers cannot contribute, but the students will contribute to the teacher. Or together, the contribution is Yes. The next question. Crisis of pandemic was more overwhelming than any other person's crisis. So was it the same with you also, sir? See, pandemic, most probably, whether uh, it is really because of the deadliness of the disease or because of the weakness of our mind, I don't know. It all depends upon the different uh, mentalities and mindsets as affected, no doubt. But I feel that this pandemic has given a lot of opportunities to every one of us to explore the best to their life. You may probably how to become a very good healthy person, how to take care of the health. And also we understood that many of the systems may not work for our health. And we should have our own way of creating the better for us. So that has been made us for the health concerns. And also when it comes to the learning mode and all, we have got a lot of opportunities. We have explored a lot and we are able to do a lot. Yeah. In that pandemic has given a different dimensions for everybody. And even the students and teachers have also has taken up that as a challenge and uh, moving towards the betterness. Next question, how will you change yourself for the future? Definitely say, certainly we have to change ourselves in uh, coming days, most of the things will be in remote and we may not be able to reach the workplace as an explosion and we have to do everything to basically get our place. So in that, we have to do a lot and we have to change ourselves in that direction. So that is the need of the futures of everyone. So, what is the message you would like to give to the students on this occasion? Say, your teachers and your parents, both are same. At home, the parents, biologically. 
at school or the college, the parents are academic. So your academic parents and your biological parents both are expecting the best from you and for which they will be always guiding you. Listen to them, think carefully, wisely, choose the best avenue, transform yourself, get things done, all the best. Yes sir. So many students say that engineering is tough. In fact, after the class 12 or after they complete their boards or after they have completed their exams, the society or the parents, they all pressurize the students for engineering. They say engineering is a tough subject. It is not so easy to crack or so. So what is your opinion? Suggest is open up yourself. Nothing is say most probably when the parents were putting you to the engineering side, they were given you so many books and it is tough. They have told only to the entrance level, not to the actual course. But you assume that it is for the entire course that you find your study. Make it out from that once you have completed the entrance, once you have taken the admission. So your parents what they told difficulty is one thing to that soon, not to be your regular classes or the achievements. So this is as usual. Pattern is different and your teachers are giving you the best way how to resolve all those things and it should be easy. Concepts made easy at engineering, it is not difficult. And as an engineer our job is to make the concepts or the requirements easy. That skill set will help you. Definitely, it will be helping you to resolve the things. So, engineering is not a difficult one. The assumptions that engineering is difficult should be removed. Yes, sir. And uh, many of them have an opinion that engineering is the only way to success. They say only if you are an engineer after your class 12, if they are a science student, particularly, engineering is the only way out. So, what do you say about it? So, skill set is important, whether engineering or arts or science or whatever. Maybe the ability of doing or achieving the things is the skill set. So I feel that skill set is most important that should be learned, that should be practiced by every one of us, whether it is engineering or science or whatever it may be. Engineering is not the ultimate. Skill set is the ultimate that we should use. Yes, sir. So thank you so much, sir. We thank Dr. Ms. Bhagashika, sir, once again. Thank you so much for spending time in spite of your discussion. Thank you. Thank you.